Hey everybody, looks like you made it to the end of the semester. I'm here at Sutro Bass Ruins. It's just above the Cliff House here in San Francisco. I just wanted to give you guys a few words, uh, just kind of end off this semester about kind of what we did this semester, what I was hoping you guys were going to have access to uh, possibly learn and be able to um, use with your camera. And the main thing that I wanted of this semester was for you guys to get familiar with your camera, uh, understand some of the tools, understand some of the things you need to have uh, pretty much behind you before you can, I think, be an efficient photographer and be able to manage your photography images so that you can output them via online or into print or other output sources. So. With that in mind, the main purpose and my main uh, criteria for this class was for you guys to learn how to use your camera. And I know this semester we had some big changes and we had to adapt everything to our cell phone cameras. And again, part of being a photographer is being, uh, I think, prepared to deal with the situation. And part of dealing with situations are dealing with your equipment and equipment failure. And this semester we saw that with our classes being transferred and closed to online instruction. So having to go from a decent DSLR to a video camera was a big challenge. But as, again, you probably learned this semester, being able to use your cell phone camera or a DSLR really doesn't make a lot of differences. How you record that image and understand how that image is going to be recorded on your device, which again, the end of the semester was based on using your cell phone camera. So to end this conversation, I hope you guys at least walk away with a couple tools you can use, hopefully have some better insight on what it takes to be a better photographer. And main thing, keep on photographing guys. Hopefully I'll see you next week. Have a good summer. Bye.